I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? <laughs> Anybody else? Do you have any other questions? Questions about New York production? Questions about... I don't know. I don't know. Were you single during the New York production? I was single during the New York production. And I'm single now. Yes, in the back. What are some of the biggest differences between the New York production and the movie? Ooh, nice. She asked, what are some of the biggest differences between the New York production and the film production? In Yes, yes, very relevant. I think in the... In the stage production, Shiloh actually helps kill her father. So oh, that shit. is one of the biggest differences. Um, she, she has this whole scene where, where she actually takes out the repo man because she doesn't know that it's her father. And then it is revealed that she's a killer as well, just like her dad. So that's the biggest difference, I think, between the stage version and the film version. You see a little bit with the shovel attack. Right? <laughs> yes! Shovel's wrong! Shovel over repo. In the first stage production, the she lives. Was she both both the, her father and she live and they go on to do their, their reboing? That's a third Aww. Family that slays together stays together. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> We wanted to end with like an American flag going down while they're actually repoing together and then just singing, We Remember. <laughs> I salute the fallen heroes. So. But we're so dark that that really did not work. You wrong! even in New York. Does anyone know the definition of a non sequitur? Count a fish! A bicycle! <laughs> Very good first guess. <laughs> What's the name of the book that glows? The what that glows? The book that glows. Um, a super mutated lightning bug? Praying up your ass. I give him one. It's bioluminescent. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, where was the first stage production in New York? The first stage production in New York was in Wings Theater on Christopher Street. Um, it's Woo! a lovely little space. They do uh, new musicals and gay-related shows. So that's how Rainbow got in! Woo! That reminds me of a very funny story. So oh I think just because we wrote a musical and it was two dudes, the people running Wings were very gay. And they just assumed Darren and I we're very gay, not just as a pastime, but like a full-time. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong. And we, Repo was playing during Pride Week, actually. So, uh, <laughs> so at the time, Mayor Bloomberg, you know, he's putting on his pink tie and trying to get the gay vote, and he had like a whole gay reception at the uh, the mansion. Yes, Gracie Mansion. Gracie Mansion, and so. The, the people that own Wings Theater are regularly invited to this, but they couldn't make it this year, so they said, hey, do you guys want to go in our stead? Uh, <laughs> so Darren Smith and I go, you know, locking arms. <laughs> Just because we're like, how can we not go to this? We're getting, like, the free food, the free booze. And meanwhile, I'm like, there's, like, no hot chicks here at all. It's all the food. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I better have some more drinks, because, you know, you're looking better and better. Yeah. Back in 2005, when it was unacceptable to pretend you're gay and actually pick up women. <laughs> never had. Oh man, this this is what rock bottom looks like. <laughs> oh, I knew there was something funny about you. <laughs> How's the mirror feel? <laughs> Let's take this this young woman. to do that. We really do want to. Yeah! You know, we're waiting for the right opportunity to do that and we've been talking about doing that and also perhaps as a permanent stage play in uh, in Vegas of all places. Yeah! It's kind of like a vision like a train spotting. Yeah, we are so going to Vegas. Meets, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, but seriously, we really want to make this a big event. Congratulations, you broke carrots. <laughs> yes. 
Um, I'm going to, to school for film, um, and I wanted to know how the hell did you manage to make such an amazing movie on such a low budget? It was I sexual favors. I had no more compromising oh, my parasol. sexuality. <laughs> Honestly, what, what it came to is no different than what's happening here right now, or than what happened when we were on stage with no budget. Repo is a type of thing, and I'm very proud of this because of this, that I think in the first five minutes, you know whether the next 95 minutes are going to be hell for you, <laughs> or whether you're all in. Oh, yeah. All in. There's, um, no, there's no moderates in Repo fandom, it appears. <laughs> When the film was greenlit, many of the people that were involved, the cast, the crew, because there wasn't a lot of money involved, they were involved just because they read it and they loved it. And those that didn't, walked the fuck away. So we Thanks have, up. like, the costume designer, for example, Alex Kavanaugh, who did a wonderful job with the costumes. If you don't know this, if you go on repo-opera.com's message boards, yes. she's Woo. on there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If she didn't make the costumes, she'd be here in the audience cheering it on, regardless. She, she writes to fans personally and says this is how you can put together your Grave Robber costume or your Shiloh costume or your Blind Mag costume. And it's not just her, it's the musicians involved. It's, uh, it's, ever, it's Joe Bashara. something for 10 years when you're not getting paid unless you fucking love it and we all yeah. love it and it's just it's amazing that you guys we love you. Yeah. love it too so thank you thank you and, and i wanted to add to because i mean I, i'll bet probably many of you are budding filmmakers you know obviously actors and other things we did this obviously because we love it we would still do it if we, for nothing. I hate, you know because we that's what we're gonna do but I mean, we kept at it for a long time, and I'm proud of this. Uh, we did not, we did not make any changes that we didn't feel were right for this. We didn't do anything that the suits told us to do. We're proud of the end result, and I, I, you know, I'm just hope that's at least some inspiration for any of you who are out there wanting to do it. You know, if you want to stick at it long enough, you know, obviously no guarantees, but I mean, really, just doing something you love and doing it, it's just that's a, that's that's good enough in itself. But then to see what you guys brought to this thing today, when we go all over the world and we see this, it's just phenomenal. So thank you. Do you have a real question this time? <laughs> no, I was being serious when I asked that. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to know where the idea came from, because, I mean, y'all are so awesomely twisted that it's amazing. What's the idea? But seriously, I wanted to know how you came up. 